Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your timeless love reading. Thank you so much for joining me once again. This is just a little extra reading before the May readings are coming out really soon. I'm really excited for that. So, okay, let's start by picking two cards. This is the energy supporting you in love right now. What do we need to know for Sag? What do we need to know for Sag? Need one more. Okay, what do we have here? The lovers and the star. So someone is really hopeful about a connection. There is definitely love in a situation. There could be communication online also. You could be meeting someone online, communicating with someone who's at a distance, you know, Aquarius energy and Gemini energy. To me, that could be that. That could be getting to know each other before committing or being in a relationship, being at a distance and communicating a lot. So I do feel like this is, it's really special getting to know someone really profoundly, um, falling in love with someone's mind before anything. And there's something really beautiful about this combo here. So we'll see, we'll see what the tarot has to say today about that. What do we need to know for Sagittarius? Okay. Two cards, Temperance and Five of Cups. So there could be someone who's still grieving a past connection. There's someone who's trying to be patient, trying to focus on what they have instead of what they lost in the past or in the recent past. Uh, with the Five of Cups, there's an uncomfortable feeling, of course. Um, it's not a negative card. There's no negative and positive in the tarot. It's just energy. And there's something special here with the Two Cups standing up and the Two Cups that the angel has uh, in, in their hands here. It's like there's a soulmate connection for sure. And I feel like it could be coming up after a period of grief after a period of healing maybe someone went through a really difficult divorce or, sep or separation i don't know if it's you or this person that definitely cares about you the person you're communicating with it feels like someone brought healing into the other person's life without even knowing it helping them see what's in front of them instead of focusing on what they lost. But grief is still really present in someone's heart. What do we have here? The Seven of Pentacles wanted to come out of the deck. So something about patience, feeling like someone is taking a lot of time to make up their mind to move on from the past. So there could definitely be some talking happening, some flirting, there is love, there is a connection, but it's like, are you ready to commit? I feel like someone is really, it's ready to commit and the other person is still grieving, still healing some type of past separation or trauma pain it's definitely present in someone's heart and it's heavy with the ten of wands it's heavy it takes a long time there could be someone who's pressuring the other person to make up their mind but i feel like someone is tormented and i don't know again if is it you is it your person um someone is going through a hard time but they're definitely pushing through not wanting the other person to see that, keeping their head up, pushing through fear, pushing through pain, and still showing up and being present in all relationships, not just in romantic ones. Um, but someone is definitely hurting and they're not showing it. They don't want people to know that they're carrying a lot of pain. It could be you, Cross Watcher, or it could be Sag. I'm, I'm really sorry. I feel like someone is going through a hard time. Ten of Cups. You both want the same thing. You both want to be together and build something stable. But it's overwhelming. 
it is overwhelming. I feel like it could have been love at first sight. It could have been you meeting them in the worst timing. This, of course, is timeless, so it could be happening. There could have been someone who was already involved with someone else. King of Swords. <coughs> I'm sorry, my throat is acting up. So this is always my sign that there is something about communication. Something needs to come out. And with the King of Swords, there's going to be some type of truth revealed. There's going to be some type of conversation, an honest, mature conversation about, okay, I like you a lot. I'm definitely turned on and really excited about the future that we could build together. But I have to heal something. I have to make sure I'm... Starting this new relationship on strong foundation, that I'm closing all past cycle and that I am healthy, mind, body, soul and ready to commit. Someone has so much respect for you, Sag, and they don't want to, they don't want to promise things that they can, you know, promises that they can't keep. They don't want to do that with you. But a part of them is scared to lose you. I don't know. There's something about timing here. If only I could be ready right now. If only I could be with you right now. There's definitely something about timing here. But at the end of the day, I think that you both want the same thing. There's just someone who isn't completely ready to give their all. And I feel like it's the mature decision to respect their own timing. Six of Swords, yeah. They're leaving something behind that is really painful. And again, I say they, it could be you, it could all, it can always be reversed, these readings, because there's so much intense energy, especially with these cards here. Um, there's a lot of lesson that they're learning right now about pain, grief, separation. I don't know if you're dealing with someone who had problems with their ex. Someone who um, is still connected to a past person, feeling like they owe something to their ex. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is, but they have a lot to deal with. They have so much on their shoulders. It's like, come on. The, they want the universe to cut them a little slack. Like, I don't know. Someone has been going through ups and downs constantly. I don't know. I feel like you could definitely be helping this person and changing their life completely. Have the Empress in the reverse in the Eight of Cups. The moment they're able to cut ties with the past, that they're able to accept and heal, they're going to be ready to receive that love. But with the Empress in the reverse, someone isn't ready. Someone isn't ready to receive because they're so preoccupied by something that isn't here anymore that they can't pay you know, good attention to what is here in front of them right now. And the Empress in the reverse is like, Learning to respect your own timing, get, giving yourself the time to grieve and heal, and also learning how to receive. Because it's really uncomfortable for human beings to receive. And I talked about that a lot in my practice. The best example is when someone gives you a compliment. You always want to give it back. Humans in general, we, we're not comfortable with receiving. And when we carry so much grief and pain and when we... We are still trapped in an energy, a toxic energy. It's even harder to let ourselves, you know, receive that love, to open up to any gift from the universe, any one who's trying to love us and help us. It feels uncomfortable. And that's why the Five of Cups is here as first energy. Someone is really uncomfortable with the amount of love and energy time someone is giving them and it might sound weird but it's definitely something deep and with the wheel of fortune it feels like things are about to change for the better so the wheel of fortune to me is 
so it's the most esoteric card in the tarot there's something so magical about this energy it's like after things being the same way just when we are about to give up the universe is coming in stepping in and bringing something really magical into our life i feel like i'm hearing i'm ready i am finally ready to commit and the timing is right there's something about timing here about someone who's been waiting for the other person and when they were about to give up something is changing at the end of the day what i'm feeling here is true love and respect there could have been um two people being friends in the beginning and becoming lovers one thing i know is that you are definitely patient and learning to get to know each other on a deep level on a really personal level before anything else and it feels like there's a lot of love and respect between two people um and that to me it just feels good it just feels really good someone was willing to let the other person go someone was willing to let the other person heal and do their thing because they love them enough and that is really beautiful there's nothing toxic here uh except maybe this past energy six of cups yeah this is all about healing and it's all about being present for the other person showing them with time care energy patience that we are there like i'm here for you I'm here for you and I know you've been I know you've been hurting but I'm here whatever you need me I'll be here for you so we go from the five of cups to the six of cups this is my confirmation that yeah the wheel is turning someone is learning lessons someone is maturing someone is finally closing a past cycle and they're ready again I was hearing I'm ready I'm ready. Let's do this. I don't know why I made you wait. I don't know why it took me so long. I see what I have in front of me. And you're perfect for me. And seeing, you know, the lovers and the star card here, it's like, you never lost hope. You never lost hope. And yeah, Hierophant. This is so beautiful. Again, a confirmation that the two of you, the communication is just on point. It's it's really one of your strain. You inspire each other and what you're doing now will impact the rest of your life. You are building something really stable and real. Um, and it's mature. Again, it feels so mature and it feels fun also. It's exciting because we are just starting to see what is possible. So stable and comfortable and real doesn't mean boring. Mature also. Uh, healthy love, it can also be fun and exciting. <laughs> Just putting it out there. And we have the Queen of Swords. So we have a beautiful power couple here. I don't know if you have air in your chart. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, if they have that or they are an air sign, but there's something really beautiful here about a power couple. Their restraint is communication, getting to know each other before taking action and moving on to the next level. But there's going to be commitment. There could be talks about moving in together, traveling together, creating a business together. Let's put money aside for this, for that. Uh, what are your dreams? What are your plans for the future? Um, and it's, it's exciting. I feel like you both have the same vision. The end goal is similar. And it fits beautifully in your world. We have the Page of Wands. You could be dealing with an artist. You are someone's muse, Sagittarius. This person is inspired by you not only to get better, not only to um deal with the things they should be dealing and healing themselves i feel like you inspire them also creatively i don't know what they do but this person works really hard they're definitely committed to making a lot of money and building something real and comfortable 
for their day-to-day -day life, wanting to maybe buy a home, build a home. Um, someone wants to be comfortable, not be anxious about money all the time, having the opportunity to travel. I don't know, but it feels like someone is like, I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to fight for my dreams. Nine of Cups. So the road to get to the Nine of Cups is never easy. Because this is the wish come true. This is the fantasy. The, the goals, you know. But the road to get there is not easy. It takes a lot of healing. It takes a lot of learning. And learning how to communicate. Learning how to deal with grief. And every emotion coming up. So this tells me that you both want to fight for the same thing and you'll get there. It feels like this is definitely, again, a power couple that can build anything. You guys can do anything together. It doesn't take anything away from, you know, how powerful and great you are individually. But when you, you know, bring your talents, your strengths together, it feels like the sky is the limit for the two of you. I feel like this is this is a couple. This is again power couple energy. Uh, we will build this together. We will create some type of legacy. I don't know if you will eventually work with them, partner with them for a business, making money, but there is definitely something that's going to be built. And we have the lover's card. Last card came out first. And then, I, you know, this is just my confirmation. And I feel like could, it could have started with friendship. There was something about being patient, giving ourselves the time to get to know each other. And now we're in love. We're soulmates. We are a team and we're ready to create whatever future is right for us. Um, I love seeing the lover's card on top of the empress in the reverse. I know that the energy I was connecting with, the one that wasn't ready to receive, definitely this person is a giver and they could be forgetting about themselves a lot because they give so much to other people. But I feel like they're taking their power back, working on their own magic, falling in love again with themselves and finding out what they want to do and where their place in the world is. And again, there's something about building some type of legacy together. And this is like next level power couple for me. Okay, let's pick some more cool cards for you, Sag. Sag. We have take time to breathe out so again your relationship with patience timing your rhythm when it comes to love emotions this person is helping you learn so many things about yourself about your own limits and boundaries and it feels beautiful so give yourself time to breathe out this is going to be like two um puzzle piece like finding each other it's going to be hard to not Think about the other person constantly. It's important that you still remember who you are when you're not this person's partner. I think there's an important lesson here with that card. Who am I if I'm not this person's uh, partner, wife, husband, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever? And always remembering that we are important as individual. We don't need another person to define us, to be our own world. They are adding to our greatness, but they are not everything. Uh, and that takes a lot of maturity to get there. And I think that there's some type of lessons um, that is learned here. Because the two people I'm connecting with are ready. They're ready to partner up. We have, yes, just go for it. So you'll know if you've been asking the universe for a sign, if you're not sure about a specific connection, are they going to uh, move on from their ex? Are they going to heal? Are they going to be on my level one day? Is this going to happen? Am I waiting for nothing? Listen, yes, this is your person. This is a soulmate connection. And this is going to be worth the wait, worth the time and effort. Again, I'm not here to tell you what to do. This is not about my personal opinion, but the cards I'm seeing, you're dealing with someone who is 
so respectful and want to be the best version of themselves for you. And that, I think, means a lot. And it, it's very um, precious because you don't see that everywhere. I think that, again, your patience will be paying off big time because this, this is a true soulmate connection. So thank you so much for being here with me today, Sagittarius. I hope that you connect with that reading. I hope that you get the love that you deserve because this is really fabulous. And I'll bring you your May reading in a couple days. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Okay, Sag, bye-bye.